Welcome to Align Books. We are happy to have you on board. In this Help Studio tutorial, we will explore the entity Inventory Setup options. The entire Inventory Setup module is divided into six parts. We will start with the basic first, followed by Inventory Document Custom Fields, Item Master Custom Fields, Item Extended Properties, Item Attributes, and lastly, the Service Setup. Let's explore the Inventory Setup basic options first. Item Label How would you like to label your inventory items? Article, Item, Service or an SKU? Select a suitable label from the drop-down list as per your trade practice. Separate Packaging Unit Keeping this option on will allow you to maintain inventory in two units, for instance, bags, and kilograms, cartons and pieces. Keep it off if you maintain single unit item. Warehouse. Keeping this option on will allow you to maintain multiple warehouse or storage points in the system. If you do not wish to maintain separate inventory for each location, you can keep this option off. Barcode scan lookup. Keeping this option on will allow you to use Barcode Scanner for recording your inward and outward movement. Otherwise, you can keep this as off. Minimum Stock Level Keeping this option on will allow you to receive notifications when a particular stock item falls below the minimum defined level. If you do not define the minimum level, you can keep this as off. Stock Valuation Method Select from the drop-down the relevant valuation criteria based on which you want to value your stock. AlignBooks offers you the flexibility to choose the method which best suits your accounting policy. Your options are FIFO, LIFO and Weighted Average. Document Classification Keeping this option on will allow you to classify your inventory documents such as Goods Receipt Note, GRN, Goods Issue Note, based on several criteria like area, product, etc. And you can maintain as many series as you like. Each document classification would have its own consecutive auto-generated serial number. Separate print description. Keeping this option on will allow you to differentiate the inventory item label used in the system with the one used in printing on various documents while still maintain internal linking. This feature is very helpful in those trades where the inventory items are recognised by a different trade name to the one maintained in the system. Item Coding Configuration Select from the drop-down list your choice of how you want to maintain the item coding in the system. In various trades, people are more familiar with codes assigned to products. AlignBooks gives the flexibility to maintain your codes in three different ways. Autonumeric, if you want the system to generate the code automatically for each item. Autogroup based, if you want the system to generate automatic numeric codes but based on product grouping. Manual, if you would like to assign the product code of your choice to each inventory item. We will now explore the Inventory Documents Custom Fields options. AlignBooks has structured requirements taken into consideration for varied industries. You can still have up to five fields defined per your requirements to cater for your special priorities in GRN, packing lists, etc. Required. Click on Required to make the field one activated. You can activate up to five fields which will become mandatory in your inventory document. Allow blank. Select off if this is a compulsory field, whereby unless you put any value in this field, the system will not allow to complete the save in Inventory Master. If it is not a compulsory field, keep allow blank as on. Caption. Under this field, give a caption for the document field identification. Type. Select from the drop-down list your specific field requirement. The type could be a string, numeric, currency or a date. If you select the field type as numeric, you will be asked for a number of decimal point you want in numbers. Select the number of decimal point from the drop-down list. 
You can repeat the process to add all the remaining fields to meet your requirement. We will now explore the Inventory Item Master Custom Fields options. If you want to generate, gather or print any extra information or value, Align Books offers you the flexibility to add five extra fields in your Item Master. Once you define these fields, you will be prompted for additional information inclusion. Required. Click on Required to make the field one activated. You can activate up to five fields which will become mandatory in your Item Master database. Allow blank. Select off if this is a compulsory field whereby, unless you put any value in this field, the system will not allow to complete the save in Item Master. If it is not a compulsory field, keep allow blank as on. Caption. Under this field, give a caption for customer field identification. Type. Select from the drop-down list your specific field requirement. The type could be a string, numeric, currency or a date. If you select the field type as numeric, you will be asked for number of decimal points you want in numbers. Select the number of decimal point from the drop-down list. You can repeat the process to add all the remaining fields to meet your requirement. We will now explore the Inventory Item Extended Properties options. Extended Properties allows you to maintain your inventory batch or serial number details. Batchwise Inventory In some industries you are required to maintain your inventory records batch number-wise. For example, pharmaceutical and drug industries. Keeping this option on will allow you to maintain batch records. Item Serial Number Tracking In some industries, you need to maintain product serial number as the manufacturer identifies those products on the basis of serial numbers only. Example, electronic items like computers, printers, mobile set, etc. Keeping this option on will allow you to maintain product serial numbers within your inventory. Number of Serial Fields Select from the drop-down list your specific requirement for tracking product serial. We will now explore the Inventory Item Attribute Fields options. If you want to generate, gather or print any extra information or value, Align Books offers you the flexibility to add five extra fields to properly identify specific item attributes. Required. Click on Required to make the field one activated. You can activate up to five fields which will become mandatory in your item classification. Allow blank. Select off if this is a compulsory field whereby, unless you put any value in this field, the system will not allow to complete the save in Attribute Master. If it is not a compulsory field, keep Allow blank as on. Caption. Under this field, give a caption for attribute identification, for example, colour, type, brand, etc. Type. Select from the drop-down list your specific field requirement. For example, if you select Customer while making inward or outward entries, when you will come to this input field, you will find displayed your list of customers. If you select Sale Order, list of orders in hand will be displayed. You can also make your own self-defined list. If you wish so, select Self List from the drop-down list. You are also allowed to input a remark. If you wish so, select None from the drop-down list. The whole process is intended to increase efficiency in work. You can repeat the process to add all the remaining fields to meet your requirements.
We will now explore the Inventory Service Fields options. If you want to capture service dates and service location for your items, you can use this feature. Input Service Date. Keeping this option on will allow you to capture the service date for the item. This is helpful for tracking maintenance records. If you do not wish to track, you can keep this as off. Service Location. Keeping this option on will allow you to keep records of service location. If you do not wish to track, you can keep this as off. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give us a shout for help. Happy aligning!